more spectacular. Cardania's study has produced some extraordinary results. At a particular stage in the trance, all his volunteers see the same kind of hallucination, strange visions of abstract geometric shapes. They move and they flow into each other. And sometimes they mix and sometimes they don't. What I found was that across individuals, and again, please bear in mind that these people were not in contact with each other. They were not in the same class. They did not know each other. I found out that there seemed to be more or less a general pattern. When people are experiencing unusual altered states of consciousness, they see some geometric patterns. There are about four or five constants. A number of them have to do with grids, just geometric figures that have to do with grids, spirals, funnels, tunnels, figures of that, of that sort. Are you all right, Mr. Gowler? Yes, everything's fine. Good. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do is just close your eyes and to press the button whenever you see a hallucination. OK? OK, that's fine. Grid patterns are one of the most common forms of hallucination. They even appear to patients with eye disease. You have... Edmund Gowler sees these grids spontaneously in areas where his vision is blank. Doctors believe it's because the brain is starved of information from damaged parts of the retina, just as it is starved of visual information in a trance. And then you'll have another series of straight lines like that, which have got lines across them to give you a grid of pattern. What we think is happening is it's something to do with the way the brain is wired up, something to do with the architecture of the visual brain. And really, to, to uh, develop that theme further, we have to look at the brain as it's working. We have to capture a hallucination in a brain scanner, see which parts of the brain are actually lighting up during a hallucination. These hallucinations can last up to five minutes. The scanner captures a minute slice of the patient's brain each second. The scientists are able to see which parts of the brain are active at any given moment. This is a patient who's having grid hallucinations. This is when there's no hallucinations taking place. He's lying in the scanner. It's waiting for one to occur. When one occurs, he presses a button, and these are the areas of the brain that light up when he's hallucinating. Uh, we can see these little red dots here. They're in the back of the brain, in the occipital lobe. They're in an area that we would expect to light up when grids were hallucinated. These grid hallucinations aren't just caused by eye disease. They also occur to people with migraine, strokes, and other conditions. They are a universal product of the physical structure of the human brain. No one's ever systematically looked at uh, the exact geometry of these experiences. So the surprising feature was that when patients drew them or described them in more detail, they all turned out to be the same experience. <laughs>